defensive coordinators. Now let's start a play fake to Peyton downfield. Cahoon, and Cahoon went up and brought it down. What a catch by the veteran Cahoon. Well, he was right along the white stripe of that sideline. He's running a double move. He's in that corner route, crossing routes with Kerry Watkins. You only need one foot in bounds, and there is that left foot that he puts down inside the white line. What a catch by Ben Cahoon. Did you can't catch. cover it much better. And that's a battle of the top two Canadian players in the East year after year. Ivan against Cahoon, who won that battle, and now Peyton's high steps into Argo territory before he runs right back into Kevin Ivan. You know, this is a good start for the Montreal Alouettes, and they're gonna they're going to need it, and they're gonna need to take advantage of this good start against, first of all, this great defense that we just mentioned, the Toronto Argonauts. Also, those four days of rest, that's not enough normally, and, and you can come out of the gates on a short rest, a short work week, and have the adrenaline pumping, and you can be pretty good for a quarter, maybe a quarter half, maybe two, but can the Montreal Alouettes sustain it over the course of this football game? Scoring early, more important to them. Six for Peyton, second and four. And again, a short drop and a Calvillo completion to Denny DeRavo in front of Jordan Younger. And the other thing that Anthony Calvillo has to be aware of, and Jock Climby said just before the game about this Argonaut defense, they will lull you into a false sense of security. They, they will say, yeah, you've made that play, you moved the ball, you've got down there a couple of times, you've kicked some field goals, and then all of a sudden, Rich Stubler makes an adjustment, and bang, they're going back the other way. They've scored three times in the last five games on defense. But the Alouettes look sharp so far. First down and Calvillo. Payton, Jared Payton has another first down to the 29. Payton with a touchdown catch last week in the opening quarter against Hamilton. There's Michael O'Shea right there, and you're going to see Payton right here in the backfield. And Payton's just going to get out of that backfield, check O'Shea to see if he's coming. He's well blocked, so then he is free to release. That is Jared Payton's read. He looks for O'Shea. If the linebacker does not come on the blitz or is picked up by an old lineman, then he can release him out of the backfield and he catches that one on the run. Nine minutes in and Calvillo's already passed for 107 yards. Back to the ground, Jared Payton with one nice move to the 24. And Jared Payton has four more. He has not had more than 56 yards in any of his last four games. Last week, 56 and 35 came in the opening drive so it got quiet after that for a guy who wants more touches on the ball yeah he really they really need to get him going i mean they have to get him going in his last four games his average has dropped to just under four that's not jared payton type numbers but his draw his touches have dropped by five or six per game in the last four or five they need to get him the ball more and he knows robert edwards is wrapped up and he wants to hold his own or better on the other side here's calvillo the second down play and Kerry Watkins has the Alouettes another first down inside the 15. Kenny Wheaton bounces him out. Boy, Calvillo, what a difference maker he is. I mean, the little things he does so well, like the fakes, the play fakes, by just taking a step, then bouncing outside, that little hesitation opens up his receiver on the outside because Kenny Wheaton in the zone thinks he's in the middle of the drop back and might throw over the middle. He hangs there. And then Calvillo opens him up with that hesitation. So two possessions, twice they've driven inside the 15. Had to settle for a field goal the last time. First down. There's a catch by Cahoon. Touchdown. Ben Cahoon with a sweet move that left Byron Parker in his wake. Capitalizing on their opportunities. So important for Montreal to get down there especially early on this short rest and put as many points on the board early as they can and Ben Cahoon shows you what receivers can get away with a bunch just plant and stand there and oftentimes that DB will run right by you that's a nice move to the inside for Ben Cahoon 10-year vet into the end zone fourth touchdown of the year and Duvall on to add the extra point. Fast start, Alouettes. 
and a 10-0 lead. 